Yeah, um, you'll be able to close yeah. your eyes. You're quick. Yeah. Good day. Welcome to the Strength and Swings yes. Hour here at the Bars and Bells online studio. My name is Lauren. I'm Ian. And together in this next 45, 40 minute practice, plus minus a couple minutes, we'll be working on our kettlebell skills. Mm -hmm. Progressing each week, the past couple weeks, we've started with our two-handed swings, worked on our single arm swings, and today we're moving on to some cleans. So check out those previous videos if you need some tips before moving on to your cleans. I've been working on the bare necessities on the guitar. A basic. So I'm going to work on the bare-handed warm-up for today. I wonder Just where that, that interlude that. was happening. So warm-up with we'll me start with, with our body hands. Lauren will take it away with the kettlebells. So grab the kettlebell or the imaginary one. We'll get going. Hands at your side and just very low effort. Shrug your shoulders up. Low effort. Pull the shoulders down. A more useful place for this practice. Lift again. Save that for handstands. And with kettlebells, pull the shoulders down. Keep the palms forward and retract the shoulder blades. Don't forget about your shield. Bring the rib cage down just a little bit and then spread those shoulder blades. Keep the hands stable. Repeat one more time. Squeeze the blades together. That's our kettlebell swing. That's our get up hold. Then spread. Now retract and shake it out. At the head neck, look up and then look down and repeat for one or two more. Aim to keep your eyes on the horizon. It looks a little bit weird, but it builds confidence in those ranges. Then look over the nose and look at your partner or the wall beside you. Do a chin tuck, rotate the other way. Repeat one more time. Keep the eyes over the nose as allowed. Center, one last time. Rotation and middle. And lastly, an ear bend side to side. I'm trying to keep those hands forward, elbows straight. Keep that in mind as we go one more time, ear to shoulder and opposite and center. Let's open our stance and repeat those same actions of the head and neck there with the rib cage. So first we extended or flexed, extended and flexed. So flexion is pulling down, extension is looking up, but keep the rib cage down in a sense of keeping your shield on. Repeat again, low effort flexion, as you can see Lauren's chin tucked just a little bit, and then pull down to lift up. Keep your head and sternum moving together here and do a little rotation, aiming to keep those hips forward through center, repeat again, squeeze your butt cheeks, twist or wring out like a towel, and then repeat one more time each way. Can you breathe? Maintain your control. Last time, rotation. Find center. I do like those hands across the chest just like Lauren, so from here we'll do our gentle side bend. Pull down on that short side, anchoring to flex the other way. Create stability. Promote that mobility of the rib cage, and repeat one more time, gently all the way over, and pull back to the middle. One last thing for my barehanded warm up here, and then we'll give it over to Lauren. Palms facing forward, a shoulder warm up. Elevate the shoulders, but for the rest of this practice, keep those shoulder blades low. Then turn those open palms into fists. Fists into bent wrists. Keep those elbows straight for a second longer, and then bend the elbows. Shrug your shoulders, but not for the rest of the practice. We'll pull those armpits down, have your elbow tips forward. Reset the elbows to the ribs. Now point your fingers extending to the back wall, then extend on the wrist, then extend on the elbow. Pull the shoulders together, wear the rib cage down and extend the shoulder, meaning reach towards behind you. Hold, hold, hold. Then turn those push-up style wrists into fists. Keep the elbows straight, bend on the wrist, then bend on the elbow. Pull the armpits low, elbow tips forward. And now think about your kettlebell swing as you point the fingers to the back wall, extend the wrists, pull the shoulders together with those straight arms. Lauren's cue me for that movement in my swing as recent as last week and pull your hands down and then shake it out. More to Lauren for that low body and some core and get the kettlebell ready because it's coming Excellent. up. Let's start, we're going to warm up our, we will be warming up our feet and our lunges at the same time. I know, crazy. Let's take a step back like you would be for your get up. So drop back lunge. You're up on your back toe, your hips are square forward, your shoulders are square forward, your front shin is vertical. Now just stay here, pulling that front leg in, pressing that back hip forward, squeezing that back butt cheek for three, two, stay where you are and could you come up to the front foot demi point? So you lifted that front heel off the floor and then drive that heel back down. Let's find mid station, pull together, scissoring your legs, actively pulling yourself into your lunge. Next, stay the same height, 
Find that front heel off the floor again and hold, and then drive the heel down. We have one more height, and that's that hover position. Oops. Hips are level. <laughs> Next, could you peel the heel off the floor? Place the heel down, come all the way to the floor. With that back knee resting on the floor, hip extended, your back toe still tucked. This is the bottom of your get up. Let's try that foot thing one more time. <laughs> Pull the heel off the floor and then drive the heel back down. Well, while we're here, let's heel toe that foot out to the side as you would in a get up. Take the same arm of that leg and put it across your body. Next, let's add our rotation. Head and shoulders at the same time rotate to that leg and then return to center together. Repeat at a hinge, rotation with the upper body, then hip hinge as you would in your get up, hand finds the floor, stack your shoulders. Next, head and shoulders together, we'll rotate to look at the floor, keep that knee to the side, blades retracted, then head and shoulders rotate, open and breathe, push the floor away, extend the hips, head and shoulders to center. Foot to center. Knees and toes next. I know. Now let's push down and forward, down and back, and get to that hover position. This time as we stand up, we're pushing forward and back, and we'll bring ourselves up. Great. Remember all of that because we have to repeat it on the other side. Other leg. Drop back, lunge. Up tall, tall. Square up. French in vertical. Back hip extended, back cheek squeezed. Hold. Next, drive that heel off the floor. Ankle and knee in the same line. Heel comes back down. Pull the floor together, dropping to medium low. Again, try to stay the same height. Pull that heel up off the floor and then place it back down. One last distance, that hover. Suck that front femur in as you press the back hip forward. Find the heel off the floor. Heel down, knee lands on the floor. Keep that back toe tucked for now, stay up tall. Heel toe that foot open to the side. Same arm as leg, cross body. Blades together, head and shoulders rotate, head and shoulders to center. Head and shoulders rotate, hip hinge, hands finds floor, stack shoulders. Blades together, whole upper body as one unit rotates the floor. Our bottom elbow stays packed and straight, rotate open. Press the floor away, extend the hips, front, sorry, body, to center, front foot moves. Let's get back to, what did I do? I hovered, hovered off the floor first, then maybe a toe tip, then heel down and push forward and back all the way to tall. Give that a little shake. Whew. We didn't Let's do a plank. Fire. Let's do a quick plank and then we'll grab our bell and get a grip. Using your hip hinge as we will use in our class tonight, hinge your hips back, vertical shins again. Similar to the lunge, interesting. Walk yourself out into that plank position. In your plank, your hips tuck under, connecting the ribs and the hips. Squeeze your butt cheeks, pull the floor together underneath you. Pull your right hand to your right hip, then pull your left hand to your left hip, and pull both at the same time, and breathe underneath that shield. Embrace your abs for five. Top of your swing, three, two. Tailbone tips first to the ceiling. Push the floor forward and back, lift the hips. Step the feet to your hinge, walk your hands back to your hinge position and press through Whoop. to tall. Whoop. Got those abs fired up, working on the hinges, stay tuned for single arm swings. But right now I have two kettlebells off to the side. I would call them the light and the heavy. And I'm personally gonna grab the lighter of the two and just have a little check-in, little loading grip carries as we work on some balance and then keep the hips moving in a little bit of a squat. So stand over top of the bell, either the hand parallel the way Lauren has, I have a perpendicular, both are okay, but going forward, probably Lauren's style, she's always right. I actually don't know Check what we're doing, so the that's hip hinge And just hold it in the low suitcase or a farmer's position. So hinge, make sure their shoulders are square, pack your preload, how heavy is that, and hoop, brace and core. Bring it to the side. For four quick repetitions, march on the spot. One, push down, squeeze your bum, pull up and down. Just one more time each side, quick efforts here for today on your own, maybe practice for upwards of a minute. Return the hinge, shake it out, what went well, let's repeat, hinge, grip, pack your shoulders, extend with the hips on the deadlift, narrow stance, march for four, one, squeeze your bum as soon as that foot touches and Lauren saying, brace your abs, remember the shield and those packed shoulders. That's four for me, I'll return it to the ground and come up barehanded. 
One more time, and now let's clean it with two hands to hold in the goblet. Let's arrive at that chest position first and perhaps look through the window for additional time. Feel those abs, just like Lauren's plank push-up. So pack your shoulders, cheek clean to the goblet. Hold, brace, hold, breathe underneath that shield. Then, as a perhaps, look forward. Lean forward just slightly to fully engage the core. Brace your glutes. Then pull it to the body and return. Shake up. Vertical shins and lunges and hinges. Break that rule in our squat. Open up to your squat stance, just inside of the hips. Slow and easy does it. Pull yourself to your safe low. Prioritize fun, safe movements down here. Can you breathe? Maybe you can play some squat For those of you in the studio, you know what that is. Then open your chest, press your feet out, squeeze your bum through. We're working on a single arm swing, but first let's end up in that, excuse me, that rack position so we can turn those swings into cleans. I like this one again with those handles facing parallel with the feet. Chop the hips, and we're gonna end up in a one-arm rack position, very two similar. Hands first, two hands, that's right. But a one-arm rack position, very similar where we were for that goblet hold. And where you're pressed from. That's right. Hinge. Pack your shoulders. Two clean. hands on. Two hands on. Now we're in one. Narrow your base. Let's march for four. Knee high, bum squeeze. Core brace. Hm. Use that off hand for balance like an outrigger. That's our four. Open up your stance. Return to the floor. Two hands on, coming down for now, Lauren. Tight Any other body. cues? You got some great cues going there. Two hands, keep it tight to the body and make sure it's your hips that pull that bell up as your arm comes through. Let's do it again. We'll be doing more of these with one hand later. Pack your shoulders, feel the preload, take your sniff and clean to the rack. Narrow your stance, four quick marches, power down to go up. Whether it's a layup jump, a high jump like those world championships, find power but stability first and then return to the floor. I've checked in with my lightweight. It's gone as well as I wanted it to. So I'm gonna move it off to the side because I believe Lauren has some get-ups in mind and join us if you can. As we have started these past couple weeks, we are doing our get-up routine here. So we're grabbing a bell that you feel first comfortable doing one get-up on each side with, and then hopefully two in a row. We're gonna pair these get-ups with some drills in between. So come on down to the floor. Right now you just need to have your get up weight nearby. Starting in your cuddle position, we'll roll from our cuddle. If you don't know your get up, feel free to practice body weight, pressing that bell to firing range. Next, hip drive, pull on elbow. Find your hand, keep both shoulders packed, lift the hips, sweep the leg. Keep that back toe tucked as you press up through the lunge we warmed up earlier, all the way to tall. Leg you can touch is in that drop back position. Step, rotate, hinge, sweep, elbow, press away from your elbow, pull the bell down, and cuddle it to the floor. In practicing with people in the studio and watching them press from their elbow to the back, one of the things I like to note is your spine never really rounds or curls in a get up. So this first move, you'll see how I remain extended in like a board. And then when I press to my back, I also remain extended like a board. So avoid a curl up and avoid a curl down. No be, slouchy slouch on the shoulder. Be a board. Be a board. Board. Okay. Ripped, stiff like a board. Stiff like a board. Cut a rule press. We're on our second side one here. Think of the board. Elbow drive, hand, bridge, sweep, press the floor away. Both legs, remember that scissor, whoops, scissor tension on the pushing forward and back, pulling together on the down. Step, rotate, hinge, sweep, elbow, board, back, pull down, and rest. Give that a little shake, we'll come up to standing, We'll work. explore. No hands, no hands. And more, no hands, no hands. Great. I'll explore our warm up with our single arm swing drills. We've worked on those two hand swings and we worked on the deadlift before that. And then we worked on the body weight conditioning drills so in crank. between. Crank it out, work on the one arm swing with us or regress towards that two hand swing. Lauren, we're doing five repetitions of a hike pass. 
Pull it. How is that what three? we said? How about three. three? Three. Good call. Three, because that's Lauren's favorite number. I should have known that. So hike, park. Hike, park. Repeating for three. Then Lauren will go for three repetitions on the other side. Emphasize the quiet nature of the park, the powerful nature of that pullback, and the stiff core represented by Lauren's board. stable board like upper body. So okay. Same with the today's class. Three and three. All right, team Ian's going. Pull with your lat. Pull it right to the zipper of the groin of your pants, but that's the groin. Park, stand up without, switch. Keep that deep hinge the whole time. Vertical shins, hips don't move. Load them up, place them down. Whew. Let's go one more drill here, and let's just link the hike pass into one unique repetition of our swing. We call that our stop swing. So it's a hike to the groin zipper, full swing out front, and repeat to the floor. Sets of three, stay intermittent between reps, but super quick and powerful during it. Come up barehanded, shake it accordingly, and down. What's your routine? Do you touch the bell out front? That's appropriate. Do you end up in that firing range rack? Also very good. Making sure you're confident with your moves. Lauren's powerful with her swing, and it's time for us to go next. Three stop swings. Pull to zipper, hip drive, through, and park. Ooh, At the top, in that plank. Now. What? Uh, I don't know what happened. We're exhaling as the hips snap through. Elbow is straight to the top, shoulder retracted. Right at the top here, I could punch Ian in the butt and the abs, and he's ready for both. Imagine, boom, right there, and break. Oh, I was just saying I need to be quieter on quieter. that. That was a little loud, rambunctious. Quiet like a board. <laughs> Maybe. All right. Put that bell safely. I should have used my much better hinge there, but we train for all positions. We're coming back to the floor to your get up bell. Could be the same, could be different. Two get ups in a row on a side. Okay. So when we do two get ups in a row, we keep that bell up in that start position and we go back up again. Here we go. We have a cuddle, a roll, a brush, board elbow, boom, hand. Bridge, swing, press away, scissor, boom, scissor, pull down, front foot, rotate, hinge, stack, sweep, elbow, repeat, keep the bell up, bow, hand breathing as you need to, taking your time through the get up, it's not a race, about 20 to 30 seconds, a get up on each side. So spending 45 seconds to a minute underneath this bell. Pull it down. Return it to the floor. Ooh. And we'll switch sides. Take a breath. Sometimes when we switch sides, we'll also switch announcers. So I'll be doing the play-by-play -play for this get up. And as Lauren said, it starts with that cuddle. And some may take longer in this position than others. Take a breath and then roll. That's the firing range. And we drive the hip, stiff like a board, tall sit, sweep the leg, slow it down if you need to. That's my tall stand. Then we'll lunge down, open windmill, find the floor, stack and sweep, elbow to the ground, final rep, press to the elbow. That's a tall sit. Bridging, press the floor away, rotate, square, tall stand, and pull yourself low, open, hinge, sweep, elbow, core brace, and then to the floor. Mm -hmm. Awesome. No hands. No hands. Stand up. Same or different. Awesome. Great. We can put that kettlebell. Thank goodness. Get up weight aside. A little bit. Remember how we've been ending class every week. That's right. So don't get too excited. We'll, we'll pull back out the bell you were working on for your single arm swing slash cleans here. We're next going to progress our single arm swings to a clean. To learn this earlier in our practice today, we did that two handed sheet clean up. We're now going to do that same move but with one hand. So for one set, we'll be sitting right over top of our bell. Feet on either side of your bell, hinge, 
uh, sorry, handle in line with your feet this time. Hip hinge, grip bell. Doing it together. Sorry, I actually meant for you to start doing or talking. Okay. <laughs> so let's catch up where Lauren was. One hand was on the ground, on the, oh, excuse me, on the kettlebell with that shoulder packed. Preload, <laughs> zip it up the body and press it right back down to the floor. Pack a shoulder, be ballistic, stay powerful. If this movement can't be executed fast, get a lighter kettlebell, but also get a heavy kettlebell that you're forced to do it fast. Whew. With Goldie these cheek cleans, you'll hear a couple cues. Imagine zipping up your winter coat. So keep that belt tight to your body. Next, you have to have a firm grip so you don't drop the belt, but you also need a light grip so you can punch through. Last cue, imagine you're in an alleyway. That's right. It's tight to the body and the hips are the powerhouse behind this move. Dominant hand, non-dominant hand shouldn't matter because the hips are pressing through. Coordination might be there, of course, but work on the hip power to catch it in the rack, as Lauren said. Push your handle through the bell. Three for us. Three for that second side here, team Ian. So using this drill to really show you how those hips get that bell to that rack position. Hip drive. Good. It's not the arms. It's the old backside. Excellent. That's right. Now, we're going to link that into a more usual clean, which we'll be doing in a second. Let's do two stop cleans in a row, followed by two regular cleans. Excellent. I will show you. That again will establish ourselves away or behind that kettlebell. It's a pull to zipper, pull to the rack, and return to the floor. Repeat two reps, find that groove, test, test those waters. That's three for Lauren, so no. follow along if you can. Continuous now. Oh, continuous. Should listen to the chart or look to the chart in front of here. So two stop, two stop, cleans, two continuous, two continuous. Okay. Set up like you're doing a single arm hit swing. It pulls through, ends in your rack, through, and park. All the clean is is a swing that ends in your rack. Sorry, I like to snap a lot when I teach. Now two continuous, one to rack, through, to rack. Good. One thing I really focus on when I'm doing cleans because it gets me still. What does it get you? No twists, hips straight through, that's right. So that off arm is aiming to keep yourself nice and square, so don't forget to bring it through. And again, at the top of the swing, check. Are you square? You can learn a lot from that position as you park the kettlebell on the ground as well. Team Lauren's now doing two continuous reps. Thanks for saying, <laughs> paying attention to that, Lauren. Not so good with the reps today, but let's do it ourselves. All right, Team Ian, two stop cleans through the rack and park. When we're in that rack position, we have a very vertical forearm. We could press out of this position. We could squat in this position. Clean, through, use your hips. Clean, very good. Now, I dare you to pay attention. Okay. Okay, we're going to alternate for three rounds today between swings, single arm, and continuous cleans. I'll go five on one side swings, single arm. Ian will go five one side. I'll go five the other side, Ian will go five the other side. Then we'll do a round of three continuous cleans. I go one, Ian. I go, you go. Either you go with me or you go with Ian. You're resting in between, take time off. It's good for you. And both teams here will be doing single arm swings to start. Step behind that kettlebell, straight out front for five and four and reinforce those things consistent with the clean, except this one is away from the body. Highlight that, it's away from the body on this one. Five single arm swings, Ian. Shoulder is packed, hips drive the bell through. All 10 toes are flat on the floor. Don't let that baby nor that biggie come off the floor. Five reps one side, same on the other. And Lauren said right there, it starts with the feet. So open those toes and push the feet away from center in both phases of the swing, up and back. Team in another set of five continuous swings here. Strong exhale as the hips snap through. Off arm coming with you. Abs and butts, all of the things. This next round, three continuous cleans, first arm. Most of the same, except now it's tight to the body. As Lauren said, it's between those alley spaces or in a foam move, tight to the body under the rack, above the knees, behind the body at the back, and return to the floor. Same thing, team in. 
First arm, continuous swings. Your hips still hinge back and they still drive through. That light grip again to avoid that bouncy bell in the back of the arm. Whew. Three, pretty powerful getting that load from the ground all the way up to that rack. So again, you can hear almost that hand sliding on the kettlebell. She more presses that kettlebell into the rack. Hmm. Firm grip on the bottom, flexible grip in the middle. I like cleans because I feel strong like tree. Other side, team in. Hip hinge, both hips. Good. Keep the belt tight to the body. It's the hips that drive that through. We're back to our single arm swings for five. For five of them. Keeping that heart rate up, but always working on the floor. Keep your numbers modest. Fives or tens, maybe. Right now, we'll focus on five. One arm swings. Each one is powerful or more than the one before. Team in. First or set of swings here. Breathing, bracing. Five on that first side. We have that equal work to rest ratio. Always rest. Always rest. So we get to adapt and catch up and also check in. Lauren's team is doing five. One on swings. And I'm listening to Lauren's keys from last week. When I'm doing them, keep my elbows straight and shoulder packed. Chest height. Don't forget that off arm. Sometimes the leg's behind. If you get forgetting it, try to tap the bell out front on each single arm swing. Ooh. All right, we're back to cleans. Three of them this time. Heavy feet, firm grip, flexible grip in the middle. But then it's a crushing knee grip at the top as to link that to a squat after or your press. Today, it's just those three straight cleans. Three straight cleans. Got to get those calluses built up again. Three cleans, team in. Both hips, all 10 toes on the floor. Nobody's going to market right now. Ooh. No, those little piggies are staying down. So spread them, root them, like Lauren's tree analogy. The core is braced the entire time, in particular, just before that impact of the kettlebell. At the, top. the other thing I think about when I'm doing cleans is that I'm at the top of my chin up. So both arms are in tight, I'm engaged in my lats, my cheeks are squeezed, and I'm hanging up there. Hmm, we have one more round, everyone. One more. Good. It's the encore. Nice. How are you doing at home with your power and particular swing? Endurance on the grips, as well as your heart rate. Check in, stay powerful, accommodate your load as you need to. We'll go back to those body weight groups. Five swings, team me in here. Five, four, three, abs and butts, two, exhale. Five swings. Other side, five. No, now I'm working. Got that sweat, but feel good. Always hoping that you at home are doing the same. We know we can't always write a comment in the workout, but let us know how you do it. We like to know. Second side, team Ian. As we recover, we're trying to breathe in and out our nose, and even as we're swinging, we're trying to breathe in and out our nose. That strong exhale, but don't forget, you still have abs in the back of that hinge, so keep that core brace always. even here. Always. The core brace helps keep that nice long shape of the spine. We want to avoid using the spine like a curl or the whip. And instead, if we go back to that board, Lauren, you said it. Stiff like a board. To the theme. B O A R D. Don't put that E in there. Nobody's bored. Both hips drive through. Punch through the bell. Tight to the body. Team Lauren, second thing. But then I have a secret bonus round that nobody secret knows about. Bonus. It's been a while, as Lauren said, since we've done those. We've worked on other skills. The clean hasn't been there as much. So take your time, fill up those little pieces, like the calluses and grips. I can't wait to do this and then a secret surprise. Let's do it. Three cleans. I wonder what it'll be. Last three cleans for Team Ian, and then we'll do secret surprise together. Good. Park that bell. Perfect. Secret surprise is going to be a boat right now. I want to do three, so six total. Swing, clean, swing, clean, swing, clean, park, switch sides. It just gets you used to alternating between the two and linking it together in drills for the future. Let's do it here all together. Swing, clean, swing, clean, swing, clean. Here you go, pack shoulder, swing, through clean, swing, clean, one more time. Park, place it down. We'll take about 10 seconds off here. Check in with the callus line. How are they feeling? Feeling good. 
Yep, don't pick them off. Pumice that. All right, same routine, second arm. Swing clean, swing. Tight clean, swing. Clean, one more time. Park, place down with control. In through the nose, mm -hmm. out through the nose. In through the nose, out through the nose. One more time. Let that heart rate get up. Go off again with the control. Oh, that's it, yeah. Patience uh -uh. to come back down. I'm not sure what Lauren's doing with her bells, but I'm going to keep that same one. It's not light, but it's lighter than the other one. So grab your lighter bell. We're working on our presses again. If you've been with us for a couple weeks, we started at ones and twos, then a couple threes, then a little bit of a zigzag last week. And this week, we're going to peak at five and go back down three, four, five, four, three. If you're brand new, maybe your numbers are one, two, three, two, one. Build up, come back down, maintain integrity. And uh, are we doing this one together again? Yes, let's do it together, yeah. Ian. Okay, we'll start on that first side. Prepare. Mm -hmm. I got you. Yeah, my side, let's get it. Three for us. Pick a number that we can build off of. Here we go, hip hinge, two-handed cheek clean. Hup. One, butts, abs. Two, legs. Three, it's a whole body affair when you press. Yes, it is. Use everything. Use it all. From the tips of your toes to your tips of your fingers. Strong grip. Get it. Sometimes on the first set, that bell feels heavy. Totally normal. Same thing, second side, same number. Hinge, grip, rack. One. Two. Three. Park bell. <sighs> Excellent. I see it with a number I can build off of. Good. Keep building. Plan that. Keep, keep building. Working on some squats here, Lauren? Yeah, just some easy stuff because we got to easy stuff. keep easy it going stuff. quick. So let's just open up into your squat position and feel free to change. Still need to take through. time for the get ups later. Pull your feet together. Now allow one knee to bend as you slide and glide. Maybe your hip is hiked. So just find level in there. I know I have to level it out and just push into that side leg to finish nice and tall. Repeat the other side, pull yourself across. Keep those hips level, keep your feet pulling together and then slowly press away and push that leg back to standing. Repeat one more time, other side, pull yourself across, promote those level hips, push away from center to tall and final time. Feel the ground. In this type of exercise, use the tension in the floor to pull and push. It's the same on the press. Grip down to pull or push up. We're adding a rep here, going up to the number four on each side. Whatever you feel comfortable with, this is round two of five. Three, two, double hand cheek clean. Up. One, two. Oh, good. That's one activity I can't really talk through the whole yeah. time, especially with this bell. So I'm thinking about powering up those quads on each one and boom, boom, that feeling. Make some noise. That's feeling. Boom. Okay. Second side. Four. One. Two. Three, always to the rack position. Four. Whew. Excellent. Good. Okay. Okay. down and just body weight squat time. Same idea. Maybe your stance is a little wider this time. Pull yourself down in the middle. This time, pull yourself the way of your choice. I need to personally stand up a little bit here. And then just push through the bent leg to finish tall. Repeat to the other side. Pull down, slide across, push into the bent leg, get tall, pull down, other side, aim to stay low. You might need to come up and push and final one, you pull, pull yourself across, slide and glide, push through the feet, two toes together, and shape. Not a lot of rest, but hopefully just enough to get our, Lauren says. Thoughts, focus, hulk this bell overhead. Your number, here we go, peak of the pyramid. One. Two. 
Nice. So you're pushing off that plank tension. You have a little bit of uh, 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 in that abs. What? That little ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. It's that little spring in that board. Even the board has a little spring. That's right. I guess the theme was board, but board with a little bit of cush. All right, second side. Peek it, peek it, peek it. That's a heavy five. Is, Feels strong, but good. Yeah. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Find that squats position. This time, pull yourself low, and then just press off both feet and find a little balance. Straighten your knee standing on and squeeze your bum. Then point the leg, land toe ball heel. Repeat on the other side. Squeeze your bum. Point and land. Two more. Nice and slow, buying a little bit of time before those presses again. Work on the control, work on some mobility in between, mm. and maybe do a couple more of those, or shake it out. Mind your kettlebells on the ground, and you have two more sets, so going back down. This is number four, dropping a rep here. When you're ready, root your feet, prepare, inhale, and one, two, off arm. Four. Whew. Thanks for helping, whole body. Yeah. <sighs> Wipe That's your brow. To help you out. And sometimes with practice, it will always respond. You know, it's the most ambiguous answer. Keep practicing. It's true. Practice. All right. Four. Four. That's nice. Four. Just on a little low my clean position there. I know me too on that start. Okay. High last last. Set of squats before that last set of three presses. Simple but not easy. Let's pull ourselves down again and just find that single leg balance. Ooh, excuse me. Balance. Then climb. Karate foot if you can. Point the toe if you can and land. Pull up. Stay tall. Karate foot, point foot, land. Just one more each side. Be powerful, be graceful. Point through the feet and land. And one more time. Climb, karate, point, land. Push through and shake. We've done five, so three should be easy. No problem. Stay, stay strong. Pick a number that you could do one extra rep onto if I really made you. Excuse me. <coughs> Bless you. Excuse you. It's a little frog. All right. Three. Oh, good job. Yeah. Good job. That's right. Tell it how awesome it is. We have the other side. We have the other side. And scary about that, Lauren. Here we go. There's two of them. Ready, set, last set. Oh, very good. I'm putting that bell down. And you know how I like to finish this here. So we have those quick get-ups to finish up with today. Okay. Sound great? Let's try to do our two in a row right now. And then one. Makes it so simple. Whew. All right, come down to the floor. Love it. If you're feeling like you're done today and that was enough work, maybe you do this body weight or you just watch us do it. Both are allowed. Grab a drink. Sorry, sweat in the eye. Here we go. Two in a row. Cuddle, roll. The second one, I might get a little quiet. Hip, drive. Hand, sweep, back toes tucked, legs 
push forward back, control that down. Looking at your bell as you hinge and rotate. Keep the bell up one more time this side. Take your time on that. Back down to the elbows, taking that board again. Gets a little harder. Finish with control. Yes, it does. It got a little quieter, got a little harder. It still stays. Somebody picked up the pace. Needed to a little bit. All right. Aim to go slow. Speed it up because it does help a little bit. Second side, two in a row again. Here you go. Cuddle, roll. Yeah. Elbow. Hand. Sweep. Toes already tucked. Both legs. Rotate and hinge. Elbow. One more time, keeping that bell up. Breathing as needed. You have lots of core tension stability here. One might say, strong like a board. Try not to say that again today. Finish strong, breathe. Oh boy. Oh, my, my shins are sweaty. It's sweaty back here. I do have a nice open window, but most importantly, make sure your hand grips are stable on the bell. So wipe them off or chalk up, whatever you do. And we'll do one more time. One each side, cuddle it, spend more time there, and just get used to it. Go to firing range, pause where you need, and let's do it for it. One yep. more rep. Drive your hip, pull the elbow, end up in your tall sit, bridge. Pass the floor away, square lunge to tall. Pull down, open, lunge, seat, elbow, ground, and then. Oh. <laughs> Just one more rep. It's the last Doesn't one. one after two feel so good? It does. It does. And they do feel good at the end. Those kind of double type of workouts. Do some in the beginning, make it a priority, you can do it at the end. Pull up's gonna be done the same way. Cuddle, roll, press, your little head, that's okay. Drive the hip, find the tall sit, bridge and sweep, square to lunge, tall stand. Reverse, windmill, sweep. Two hands in the last direction for the day, really. No hands on that, get up on the floor. Breathe mm. forcefully out as well. Shake it out. Mm. This has been Tuesdays at four o'clock, kettlebell strength and swing with Lauren. And me, Ian. Thank you for joining and continuing practicing and refining our kettlebell skills. Next week, we will be away because we're going on a bike trip. We're going to bike ourselves around south west Edern, Ontario. Okay. So stay tuned. We are going to do our best to film and document a little bit along the way. So stay tuned for those exciting clips. So we have one week off. Maybe you perform this routine again or you go back a week or two. Whatever you choose, do something. Enjoy it. Yes. Doesn't have to be long until a week, two weeks from now. My name's Lauren. I'm still Ian, and we are always gonna be bars and bells, whether it's on our bikes or with our kettlebells. Join us in the studio live, send us a note, or live online or in the archive on our YouTube channel. Patrons, YouTubers at large, love. So like, subscribe, share. Have a good day, and always stay strong, take care, and let's train soon. Goodbye. Okay. Oh.